The employees staged a demonstration at the company's headquarters. They accused Nakale for continuing to implement what they termed flawed decisions on instructions from the board, despite objections from the Public Service Union of Namibia, an exclusive agent for the employees at RCC. These, they claimed, include illegal deductions from their salaries, unilateral revision of staff leave days to 60, and the cancellation of the vehicle insurance policy, as well as a revision of fuel benefits. To make matters worse, the company continues to implement these measures despite intervention by the union and its members, completely undermining collective bargaining and Article 8.4 of the Bargaining and Recognition Agreement. It is a common sense that when there is a dispute between parties, then the status quo remains. However, RCC interim CEO on the instruction of the board continues to implement errorly decisions despite objection from the workers and their union. The employees are now demanding that the company stop these illegal deductions with immediate effect and pay back their money. Is that we are going to lodge an urgent application at the Labor Commissioner's Office to get this decision reversed. And we will continue to demonstrate and put public pressure until somebody sitting in that building start listening to a voice of reason, of reason rather than ignoring people and following your own mind. These are human beings you are dealing with. These are not stones. These are human beings that you claim have defrauded the company, but you did not bring charges of misconduct against them. She is expecting them to prove that the money that they were claiming from the company when she was not there was claimed legally. They must go and produce a logbook from 2019. If they cannot produce that evidence, it means it was fraud. But how, how do you deal with fraud as an administrator? The workers have given the company seven days to respond to their demands. Selima Henok, NBC News, Vantuk.